Let's do a quick DIY project together. Starting at Joann Fabrics, I'm gonna go look for some foam for my project. First, I saw this project foam that's $44.99. It's two inches thick, so I kind of kept searching because what I was really looking for was something thicker. So I went to the back of the store and I found these three inch thick and the price was just a little bit more. So the three inches were $39.99 a yard, but they were on sale. So I ended up with those and some brown velvet fabric. Now let's start our project. This is the area that I will be making the bench for. That is my garage entrance. So it's kind of like a mudroom hallway. And here's the foam that I bought. I did end up having to buy two yards, even though the bench is only 48 inches, but they only sold it by the yard. So I'm gonna be cutting up that piece of foam and making it to size right now. So I just started with measuring out my bench, which is 48 inches long by 18 inches deep. After I had my measurements, I marked my line with a marker using a level just to make sure that the line stayed straight. And using a razor blade, I cut the fabric. You can see I'm kind of struggling with the cut. And basically the razor blade is not the full depth of the foam. So it was a little bit of a struggle. I came up with a better way later. Now I had put a line on the back of my fabric and I was still struggling with this razor blade trying to make a straight cut and trying to go through the full three inches of the foam. But then it occurred to me that I could use a kitchen knife. Once I got this sharp kitchen knife, it completely changed the cutting. So don't use a razor blade, but go for the kitchen knife and it'll really smoothly cut through the entire piece of foam from top to bottom in one swoop. So it was so much easier. Also, I made sure that there was something under my foam and I was protecting my floors so as not to cut through the wood floors on accident. But definitely go for the kitchen knife and not the razor blade. Now I'm gonna dry fit this piece of foam to my bench and I would recommend you leave more space than I left. I did a really tight fit, but what this did is created some puckering when I put my fabric on because I didn't have that space for the thick fabric I had purchased. Okay, so for the bench project, I chose this deep brown velvet. One of the reasons I chose this fabric is I think it's really thick and forgiving for like a first time project. I thought it would, um, you know, I didn't want a pattern because I figured matching up the pattern might be kind of difficult since I've never done this before. And then also I love this deep rich chocolate color. And it was affordable. It was in the seven to $12 range. I think this one was $12 per yard and I only needed two yards. So some of the home decor fabrics that are like performance rated, they were in the 30 to $60 per yard range. And I just wanted to start with something thick, beautiful, but also affordable. So this is the fabric I chose. Um, I chose this spray adhesive because it is specifically made for foam as well. So some of these spray adhesives, they will melt the foam. So you just need to make sure you pick one that you can use on foam and it held really well so i'm going to show you the process now let's get our fabric cut to size i'm just going to lay all the fabric out place the piece of foam in the center and you can see my cutting edge with the razor blade is super uneven so again use a knife not a razor blade but i did three inches on my edge because that's the thickness of the foam and i'm planning to just wrap this like a christmas present so once i measured my three inches i just used the level kind of as my ruler to mark the fabric and then i'm gonna go ahead and cut it to size for the next part of this project where I actually glue the fabric to the foam, I wanted to move it outside. So I put a protective tarp underneath the fabric just to protect the surface. I'm doing this project on tile and I didn't want that overspray to get all sticky. I also wanted to make sure to keep my fabric clean. So for some reason, when I went to test the fabric, it was too long. So I did another cut and just got it a little bit closer to the size of the foam especially so that the glue will stick. I didn't want a lot of overlapping fabric. So once I got it to size, I just spread it all out and got my foam into the center and started to spray this adhesive. So the instructions on the bottle say to spray the adhesive on both the foam and the fabric and let it sit for about one minute so that it can get a little bit sticky and then press the two items together. 
So about one minute later, I went ahead and pressed the fabric and the foam together. And then I just double checked the edges and repeated this process for each edge of the foam. So here I'm gonna do this outside edge, again, spraying the fabric first, and then spraying the foam, waiting about one minute, and then pressing them together. show you a close-up of the edges where I'm wrapping them just like I would a Christmas present using the spray adhesive on each layer and then of course letting it dry about one minute till it's tacky before I press it together but through the magic of video this is all sped up for you so you don't have to wait the full minute to see the little ends get wrapped. The beauty of the project was that it was zero sewing and literally from start to finish, it probably took me an hour to do this entire project and get a bench made for my mudroom. So I'm happy with the overall results. I've kind of shared with you the things that I would do differently, such as leaving a little gap for the fabric, but otherwise really happy. So overall, I'm really happy with the bench. I love the three inch fabric thickness. I really love the glue that I used. I would recommend that you cut it just a little bit smaller. I didn't leave enough space on either side for the fabric when I tucked it in. So it kind of created a little bit of puckering that I could have avoided if I had given myself a little bit more space to install the cushion. But I think um, overall, you know, it was a good project and I will break down the cost here as well for you. Mm -hmm. 